Well, hello everybody. So in this video, I will compare two of my VCRs. So uh, two VCRs that I already had, so they are not new in my collection. But uh, I had these VCRs out and thought the mechanism was uh, quite similar. So I felt like making a VCR comparison video. So uh, this one on the left is a Samsung VCR. So I'll screw my, my camera uh, through the front to uh, show you uh, the VCR from a close. And uh, this one is a Panasonic VCR. And I will show you the model number. So this Samsung model number VT4840C. And uh, the Panasonic NVHD100PX. So uh, the model number is also written here on the front. The other PX are not written here, but they are here. And uh, so these two VCRs are probably from the same year. This one's from 93, and this one I haven't seen the date, but I'm guessing uh, around the, the same time period. So around the same uh, time period these two VCRs uh, were made. So I find the mechanism in these two VCRs very interesting. And uh, this Samsung VCR here is currently the VCR in my collection that I've had for the longest time. Uh, besides the JVC VCR that is in the living room, my parents bought it uh, before I started collecting VCRs. But this one, uh, for the VCRs that I, I'm collecting, it's the longest I've uh, had. So uh, I bought this VCR at Value Village in June 2012, so it was almost 8 years ago. And uh, I had bought uh, VCRs before that, but uh, I do not have them anymore. Like my, uh, if, I don't know if you remember, my Toshiba SDV392 VCR DVD combo. Uh, that one I had bought it in March 2012. And uh, here this Panasonic VCR, uh, I got it in June 2019, uh, last year, uh, on eBay. And uh, so uh, this is uh, probably my favorite VHS mechanism. I don't know, it's hard to choose. Uh, uh, I really like this mechanism, but um, the mechanism in this Sony and uh, this Mitsubishi, uh, I love them too. So my other Mitsubishi VCR with this mechanism is stored here. So these two VCRs that I've compared in my last video on my channel. So now let's enter the tape in the two VCRs. So a VHSC adapter for this one. So uh, both of these VCRs are working. Just uh, this one, uh, it is not fully working, but at least the mechanism is fully working. And uh, the picture for playing is also fully working. Uh, so the trouble that this VCR have is that uh, the VFD display on the front uh, does not uh, light on. And I've tried recording with this VCR and uh, it uh, did not record well. So trouble with the picture. But at least I can play tips in it and uh, it has a particularly uh, good quality. It's a Hi-Fi stereo VCR too. And uh, this one is also Hi-Fi, forehead Hi-Fi. So this is a quite a high-end VCR, this Panasonic, it has this so you can play at various speeds. So a VCR destruction video that I recorded on this tape, I transferred it from mini DV to VHS because I, when I smashed this Zenith VCR I also filmed with my mini DV at the same time. And so you saw when I press play, uh, it showed the it showed the tracking on the screen. Now it did not show it because it's already tracked. But then when I just inserted the tape, it showed tracking. And uh, sometimes uh, it will show it uh, even while playing. While it's been a while that it's been playing, so this is something kind of annoying. Like uh, you're watching a movie and it shows uh, tracking on the screen. So this one works perfectly
and uh, the Samsung VCR here is uh, fully functional. And uh, these two VCRs, uh, the VCR itself is not uh, very similar, like the front, but it's the, mostly the mechanism that is uh, quite similar. So uh, one uh, one uh, similarity between the, these two is uh, on the front is this is little door here. So you have one here on the Samsung with uh, heavy inputs. This one doesn't have inputs on the front, but it does uh, have them on the back. So uh, little door on uh, these two VCRs. And uh, well now the mechanism. So uh, first that is a uh, quite uh, that is a uh, common on these two VCRs. The pinch roller mechanism. So they use a pinch roller that uh, goes down. And it's located on a cam elevator gear, which is uh, here. So uh, sometimes uh, in some VCRs you have uh, just a sliding uh, thing that uh, uh, pulls the pinch roller up and down. But on these two you have a, a tower gear, rotary gear. And uh, so some examples of VCRs that have a, like a sliding uh, plastic piece. Uh, like this Samsung here. So go video dual deck with a Samsung mechanism that is quite similar to this, but it has a different pinch roller mechanism. And also this Sears VCR has it. And uh, this Sanyo here, which I've already reviewed on my channel, of course, all these VCRs. So on these two VCRs, the loading motor is on the bottom side. On this one, it's kind of visible here. Actually, I can show it better. It's right there, you can even see it turning. And on this one, uh, you can't really see the motor for the, from the top side. And so uh, you have, uh, in the two VCRs, you have a uh, Cam gear on the bottom side of the mechanism at the uh, like the right of the mechanism, and uh, you have the same here. Just it's below. You can't really see it, but here you can see it uh, through the, the chassis. There's there's a hole here, and uh, you can see it here. And uh, you can see here, there is a metal gear that is linked to the to the plastic uh, cam gear just at its left. And uh, this is driving like a sliding mechanism with a spring for the, the cassette carriage. And this one has basically the, the, same, the same kind of mechanism. So that's why I said that they are uh, kind of similar. You have this gear here and a spring mechanism on this one too. And so, uh, this one you have uh, the little half loading arm that uh, brings the tape here by the pinch roller and the capstan. You have the same arm here, just it's located at a different location. So here the pivot point is here, and on this one it's here, it's not at the same place. It doesn't move like the same uh, uh, center of rotation. <coughs> And uh, this one is located here, right next to this tape guide. And on this one, it's located here. So uh, they use the same hole in the the VHS cassette tape uh, to than the capstan. So uh, VCRs that don't have a pinch roller that goes down like this, that have the capstan here, uh, this arm is located at the same place. So the capstan uh, in other types of VCRs will be located uh, here. So it enters in this hole, and uh, on the VCRs that have a pinch roller that goes down, usually the this arm is located here. But on this one, I think is the only uh, is the only VCR mechanism that I know that has a uh, the arm located here. So uh, this is very uh, very particular, and this uh, Panasonic uh, uh, K mechanism.
for now, uh, I will uh, inject the tape and uh, show you the mechanism from uh, another angle. So on the two here, I'm going to show you the mechanism uh, from the back angle like this. So on this VCR, the Panasonic, something that I'm uh, fond of on it is that uh, you can remove the bottom cover and uh, see the bottom side of the mechanism. And it, it, uh, I will show you uh, the bottom side. I've already showed it in the video where I reviewed this VCR, but I might as well show it again in this video when I have the VCR out. So it has a tooted belt on the bottom side instead of a, of a rubber belt, so a nylon belt. And this one has a standard uh, uh, rubber belt on the bottom side. I've never replaced it, but it's still perfectly good. So no point to replacing it. I have not. Uh, I never really took it apart. Uh, I never lifted the the chassis out of of the VCR because I I never needed it. So uh, even though these two VCRs are from uh, about the same time period, uh, the construction inside is not uh, the same. So this one you cannot uh, see the bottom side uh, in action because there is a circuit board uh, just uh, below the mechanism and this one has a circuit board, the main circuit board here on the right side and uh, this one, uh, even though it has the, the circuit board on the bottom it has a separate power supply so it's not on the same board and this one of course it has a separate power supply So when you, uh, they are like in a a metal box like this and I see they use uh, different uh, types of uh, of cables so here a standard ribbon cable you can see on this head and this one a different type a different type of a uh, of a uh, cable so uh, this gold star VCR also uses the same type of cable uh, to connect the uh, audio head So I think I've already compared the Gold Star uh, with uh, this Samsung. So here's the bottom side of this uh, Panasonic NV-HD100PX VCR with the, the K mechanism. So as you can see, a uh, nylon tooted belt. And uh, here the loading motor. So uh, in the Samsung VCR, the uh, loading motor will be placed like facing that way instead of uh, that that way like uh, in this one. Uh, so this one is not the, like in the Samsung. It's placed uh, horizontally, but on this one it's placed like a uh, uh, diagonally. So you can see it faces li like this. So uh, yeah, kind of placed diagonally. And it driving a warm gear, a gear, and then the cam gear. So the Samsung has the same uh, kind of mechanism. And then from this cam gear, you have a sliding plate that goes uh, to the tape guide here. So uh, very similar how the two uh, VCRs work. On some other VCRs, you can remove the bottom cover and see the bottom mechanism uh, better than this. So you can see more parts than here. Here, uh, as you can see, uh, some uh, most of the mechanism is covered by the plastic casing and uh, circuit board. Uh, so you can see this plastic casing, the shape it has with all these uh, holes. And uh, I don't know why it's made like this with this shape, the holes and all that. Uh, I don't know why it's made like this, but uh, all the VCRs that I've uh, seen on the internet uh, that have this mechanism and the bottom side accessible, they all have this shape. So. Uh, all these uh, high-end SVHS VCRs, uh, European models that I've seen on the internet, all the same exact shape. 
so uh, you have a circuit board here on the bottom side and uh, this circuit board uh, brings the power to uh, uh, the different uh, components so you have the sensors that detect the uh, rotation of the tape spools and you have the power of the loading motor here and uh, so uh, the most interesting parts are visible so the bottom of the tape guides if you want you can remove this cover and uh, put grease on on the the these uh, slots here for the tape guides but uh, this one I, I haven't done it and i don't think it needs it. i don't think it uh, needs it anyway and uh, you can see the loading motor the cam gear and uh, a bit of the sliding plate so uh, this is quite interesting and here there's the bottom of the head drum and uh, the drum motor is on the bottom side on this uh, VCR but uh, the bottom of the drum uh, looks particular so usually when you have the drum motor on the bottom side you can see the lower drum uh, spinning on the bottom side but on this one there is a circuit board and you can see uh, spinning parts uh, here so it's kind of different from uh, uh, other VCRs So I love this mechanism. So we're playing from refereeing. And uh, you can also turn this uh, capstan motor by hand if you want to. So right now it's playing backwards. I'm holding this uh, this uh, jog shuttle. So it's playing backwards without the sound, uh, unfortunately. But it's pretty cool anyway. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this uh, VCR comparison video. So uh, if you liked it, uh, well, uh, put a thumbs up to the video and uh, leave a comment. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. So subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, I'll see you later for another VCR video. Bye.